brought Damien on to talk about cold. So we talked about some of the myths and you want to bust some of those. So what are some of the myths around cold email? Well, a lot of people say, you know, I don't reply to cold email. So I hate getting those emails. So why would, why would I do it? Why would it work for me? They, they, they see it as spam, but I guess it all depends how you do it. And if you make it highly relevant and you personalize the, the messaging, it becomes a lot less irrelevant, becomes a lot more sort of pertinent to their role or their, their job. And a lot of cases, you know, you're helping them solve problems in their business that they might not have even known they had or, or gone out looking for. So I think that's probably the biggest myth is that it's somehow spammy or pushy. If I'm not going to open them, why would anyone else? So that's one myth. What What are some other myths? Probably that you can do it, you should treat it like email marketing. So that's that's a big one. You know, we're all familiar with email marketing, or most of us are, sending out an EDM to our our list of subscribers. And there's a certain format that takes, you know, you might be sending out long form content and teaching and things like that. And a lot of the time when people first approach cold email, they try to do the same things. They think they need to put images and lots of information and copy in the emails. Totally the opposite is true from what we've seen and, and what's working. The shorter the email, straight to the point, because you've got to remember you don't have the relationship with that person just yet.